Hi everybody, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my brand new channel Coaching. Today we will build a React application which will run in Docker container. It will be a little front-end stack where the application will update automatically when we will modify the code inside our developer environment. So let's get started. Ok, the first step is to navigate to Google and search for Docker Desktop for Windows. You should create an account first, if you don't have yet, and after login, you can download the Docker Desktop for Windows. So, click to download and download Docker Desktop for Windows. After downloading, start the installer. During the installation process, you don't need to change anything, so click on the OK button. We will use Linux containers. After the successful installation, a pop-up will be shown in the bottom right corner of your screen. After that, you can open the settings of Docker Desktop, and we will share our local drive C, because our application will use some files and folders from the C drive. You need to log in your Docker desktop, so write your username and password into the fields and save them. Now we will create our React application with the Create React App tool. You can download it here via npm or other package manager tool, so now we will use the command npm init react app and our project's name will be docker test. It will take a while and after it's finished, let's open your VS code and open the folder of your project. We need to install Shell.js because we will use it and we need to install a Docker plugin for VS Code as well because it's a very helpful tool and I will show you how to use it effectively. After the successful installation of the plugin, an icon will appear on the left side of your screen and you can click on it, you can see the plugins GUI. The next step is to check that can we run our React application or not, so let's type the npm start command in the terminal, and as you can see, my React application is running. Ok, stop the application, and now we will build a little business logic, we will store some environment variables in uh, .env file and we will use a shell script which will produce an env uh, config.js file which will be included in the header so we will be able to use these environment variables in our application, in our React application so let's get started. Let's create a new file dot env and put a test env variable into it, the value will be this is the value. Create another file env.sh and uh, we will write the logic of the shell script. The basic logic of the shell script file is to read each file in dot env file and uh, each line represents a key value pairs and we will separate the key and value by the equality character. If you will have some other variables in your .env file, uh, because you use this file in more than one application, not just in the React application, it's uh, recommended 
to tell the shell JS that you need only the variables, for example, which names uh, starts with test. So we can define it here. And uh, <clears throat> that's all. Let's create a new folder named scripts and create a new file start.js here. We will use shell.js here and uh, we will grant the shell script that it will be executable by the container and uh, we will execute our shell script basically and after that we will run our React application so this will be the logic that this uh, file will contains. The next step is to change the package.json a little bit because we want to run our start.js file greater than the basic, the default settings of uh, the start command. Uh, so we change the start settings to node scripts slash start.js. Okay, now let's open the app.js from the source folder. To the top of this file we will write a sentence that this React app is running in Docker container and in the bottom of the file we will use our environment variable test and variable. So this environment variable is coming from the envconfig.js which is basically produced by our shell script and copied to the public folder. So now we should include a script tag in the header uh, and include this mconfig.js here. Okay, now our business logic is ready. So we will create our docker file and docker compose file. So let's create our docker file first. This is the file where we can define that how our front end will looks like. So in the first line, we derive from the node image and after that we set our work directory, which is user slash app. And after that we copy the package.json, package log.json and everything into the container. And in the next line, we install the bash in the container because uh, we will use it and uh, we will make our environment variable uh, it's executable and after that we called npm start command which will you know will start our uh, start js and uh, that's all this is our docker file now let's create our docker compose file you know in docker the compose is a tool to defining and running multi container applications so in this file we can define that how many containers we have and uh, we will use our previously created docker file. So the first thing is to set is the folder of the docker file. It will be our root folder and uh, the name of our file, which is docker file. The next thing is to map the inside 3000 port to outside. 
With this line, we will tell to Docker to refresh our application when the source code is modified. And this, uh, we will map some folder as well, for example, node modules. Okay, now we can compose our compose file. So please type the docker compose command into your command line tool. Please pay attention to the build switch at the end of the command. Uh, this field builds, creates, starts, and attaches the containers for a service. So if you type it, then press enter. You can see here that our copy commands are running. You can see here that our container is created. Now our star.js is started, so it, it started our shell script and uh, the shell script created the env uh, env config js. So our test and variable is injected to the header of our application. The container started. We can attach a shell and uh, we can look inside the container. You can see here. You can see our end variable here in the container. And we can start a React application now. And you can see that it's uh, running. Here is the environment variables value. If we inspect it, we can find it on the window object. object. Here. Okay, that's all for today now. We have a working React application which is running in Docker container. So if you like my video, please subscribe. You will find some interesting team in the future in my channel. So thank you very much. Bye.